Hey guys, it's Amanda from The Fiction Fairy, and today I'm bringing you a review. And the review is on Stolen by Lucy Christopher. And this book was a pretty good book. It wasn't terrific. It wasn't horrible. It was kind of right there in the middle. I don't necessarily want to say too much about it because I don't like giving uh, reviews that have like a lot of spoilers in them. Because then sometimes it's hard for people to want to go and pick up the book. But... The synopsis of it doesn't necessarily give away a lot except for the fact that a girl named Gemma is abducted in an airport and the book is written in the form of a really long letter that Gemma is writing to her captor, Ty. So Ty is able to abduct Gemma from an airport and what ends up happening is, is that she documents all the things that happened during her abduction. Um, from the very first thing she can remember from when she saw him in the airport um, until the very last thing that she remembers. And it's it was an intriguing book and an intriguing concept because if you were abducted and you don't know if you're going to make it out alive, you don't know if you'll ever see your parents again, you don't know if you'll see your family and friends again, all you know is that you have this moment and that you want your abductor to know everything that you feel and you hope somebody else will eventually find this letter and know that you were here and know what you went through. It kind of pulls at your heartstrings a little bit because Gemma, she is, she's a typical teenager. She, you know, hates her parents, you know, she knows so much more than them. They're so awful. And so when they're at the airport, her and her parents are going on vacation. They're at the airport. Her parents are already at their uh, boarding station. And she says, you know, I want to go. I want to get some coffee. I don't need you guys to go with me. I'm a big girl. Just get away from me. I want to go get coffee. So they let her go ahead and go. Well, while she's at the coffee stand, she meets this incredibly attractive guy named Ty. He's a little bit older. You know, he's beautiful. He's mysterious. Everything a teenage girl wants when they're away from their parents and they're being rebellious. It really comes back to bite Gemma in the butt and she starts to realize that um what she's captured that you know maybe her parents weren't so bad you know if she could just see her parents again the things that she would say all the things that she regrets you know just the things that like life was not so horrible maybe you were just being a spoiled teenager and if you could go back and take certain things back you would if you could do certain things over you would uh, she starts to pay attention to the fine details that she didn't pay attention to before onto how he was able to abduct her um, and how she should have seen it. But she was so infatuated with his looks and kind of like being an adult away from her parents, not the coffee stand, that she didn't see these things. Um, so it was kind of emotional in the fact that it, it made you put yourself in that position and all the things that you would think of if you had been abducted and you have absolutely no clue whether you'll ever see anybody outside of your captor again. Um, we also find out a lot of things about Ty, and let me just let you know, sometimes in books and, like, Criminal Minds and Law and Order, even though somebody does something bad, you can still have an empathy for the things they went through maybe as a child that made them be the person that they are today. Um, Ty in this book, who is the abductor, there was no sympathy, there was no empathy. He is a 100% certified creeper. And at first you just think like, wow, he's just totally weird. He's just abducting people from airports, you know. He has these elaborate plans. Wow, this is strange. And then, you know, Gemma gets up the nerve to kind of like ask him like, why me? You know, why not anybody else but me? And the detail in which he goes into is nutty. It's the length in the elaboration of his plan to abduct her is unlike any other. And I'm sure things like this happen in everyday life with certain abductors, but it just like blew my mind the amount of detail he put into abducting her, the amount of time he put into figuring out how to abduct her. It, it will, that section of the book will literally blow your mind away because it's just like, really? Like you really took that, a lot of time to be, to, do that like when they say like an abductor sometimes will stalk their victim yeah like on a whole nother level like he was a straight creeper um lucy christopher was able to write that character 
so believable that it made you hate him. It made you hate him just not just the fact that he captured her, but the fact that he was so creepy, like what is wrong with you? Move on with your life. Um, it was just absolutely horrific. And another thing about this book is that the author was able to really put you in Gemma's shoes. Like you felt like Gemma, like they would say things like, you know, I woke up to this and you would smell the smells that she smelled. You would see the things that she saw, hear the things that she heard. And it was almost like you were abducted too. And so the whole time, you're thinking like, wow, today's the day. Today is the day he's going to completely kill her. Today is the day he's going to, you know, rape her. Today is the day he's going to lock her up in a room. Today's the day he's just going to leave her for dead. So you're constantly thinking what's happening, what's happening, what's happening, almost like you were the person who was kidnapped. You know, every footstep heard outside of a door, you know, what's going on the other side of the door. It was just, it really had your, it stirred your emotions completely and you but in your head, you fought for Gemma to break free and you fought for Gemma to find a way to get away. And uh, there's just so much in this book that I wish I could talk about because I just did not really elaborate on the synopsis. I really just don't want to give it away for anybody. But Gemma is a definite fighter. Sometimes, though, you can be all the fighter you want to be and, it, and you still fail. You know, I don't want to give away too much, but Gemma is a very strong character. Ty is a creepy character. And the way that the story goes about is just, it's really, really well written. Um, there's not, to me, there wasn't a real love story. Uh, to me, she never necessarily went through like Stockholm Syndrome. She, I never felt like a love that she ended up starting to develop for Ty. Although I know a lot of other people have said that she did and me personally I didn't I didn't feel that I didn't feel like you know she started to have a lot of empathy and sympathy for her captor to the point where she started to love him and wanted to stay there with him and like became completely freaking delusional I never felt that a lot of other people have felt that maybe you'll feel that it this book is full of emotion and it will make you angry at Gemma for some of the stupid things that she does will make you completely angry at Ty. It will just, it is just a whirlwind of emotions. So I would totally recommend this book to anybody who was looking for, um, I guess it would kind of be like a contemporary faux memoir ish book. Um, I would have rated this book a three out of five cupcakes. It was a good book. It wasn't a fantastic book. Um, the ending, I'll just say, took me there. It irritated me to no end. Um, I thought the ending could have been a thousand million times better. And if this had been a true story, which it's not, I would have been like, oh, okay, well, hey, that's how the cookie crumbles. The fact that the author could have written it differently, that irritated me. So the ending is what took it away from being more towards a four to four out of five stars and became just the three out of five stars because, or three out of five cupcakes, because it, the ending just completely killed it for me. But I want you guys to read it and let me know what you thought of it. Um, if you've already read it, let me know what you thought about it, what your thoughts about it were, um, how you felt about the characters, how you felt about that ending and how you felt about the place in which she was abducted and taken to because that about blew my mind and for 2.2 seconds you lose all hope and just think Psh, hang it up girl ain't never gonna happen so let me know what you guys think about this book guys and i hope that you read it if you read it let me know and just <sighs> let me know what you thought about stolen Thanks so much for coming by and watching, guys.